Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here showing you how to recreate these beachy air dry waves that are so perfect for summer because they're no heat and they take little less five minutes to do. So if you guys want to see how to recreate them, then keep on watching. So starting with damp hair, go ahead and use a leave-in conditioner just to make sure that the hair isn't as frizzy. I'm using this one I got from Brio Geo as a sample size and I'm spritzing this all over damp hair. The key is to have hair that is not soaking wet but is also not air dry either. You want a little bit of moisture in the hair so that way you can form curls around it and you don't want sopping wet hair because when you pin this up it's not going to dry as well because it's wetter. Even if you do this at the night before, sometimes when you're sleeping, your hair doesn't get dry because it's stuck to the pillow. But needless to say, leave the hair in a towel a little bit longer than you normally would. Who knows, maybe do like a face mask or something. So next I'm gonna be taking the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. And this is for like air drying your hair. You can use any sort of curl cream it will work fine. I've just been trying to use the sample up because I've had it for a while. And again, I'm working this through finger combing it. I don't have to necessarily use the wide tooth comb, just separating the hair and getting ready to curl it into sections. Now you can do two giant curls or you can split this up depending on how tight you want the wave to actually be and rotate the curl away from your face. So turning it away from the face. And then I like to kind of pull towards the top and the front of my face so that I don't get that weird kink at the top of my hair. And again, just separating the curls to whatever size you want. I've noticed that using smaller curls works a little bit better in terms of drying them, but it's all about what size wave you want when the hair is dry. And this proves why it works better with damp hair because the hair is a little bit wetter in this tutorial. Using drier hair would work better because there's still moisture in the hair, but it's making it a little bit easier to curl and to kind of section off where you think would be more important. Now for me, it's more about following the natural part where I could have just split this into two, two giant pieces, but following that natural part of your hair is going to give you the best wave. And whatever type of curl you're looking to do, if you want some big waves, do bigger sections. If you want smaller waves and tighter waves, then do smaller sections. And just the other important thing is to, if you don't want that weird kink at the top of your head, kind of pull the hair away towards it so that way it kind of falls a little bit more naturally. So now that we have all the hair curled into smaller pieces, this is where we're going to start kind of merging the two in together and creating a little bit more of a bigger section. Now, as long as the hair is curled and make sure that the hair is curled the same way, just kind of wrapping sections together to just make it a little bit easier to pin up at this point. Now that we have the two bigger pieces together, we're just going to make one giant curl and wrapping all of the pieces together and pinning it up at the top of our head using a bobby pin. Now it's kind of a little bit of like a Dutch braid, but this is just more so for the sake of pinning it up and out of the way while you're sleeping and it doesn't get tangled and mangled. So using a bobby pin, I use about four. I'm just going to section them and anchor them down so that they don't flop around during my sleep. So now that the hair is all pinned up, I'm going to just pull out a little bit extra for volume and I'm going to go in with a dry wax to give the hair a little bit of hold while it's still up in the curl. Not mandatory, but go ahead and do it if you want. Now I'm going to head to bed and sleep on the curls. Now that we're up and ready for the day, makeup is completed. Now it's time to take down these braids, waves, whatever we want to call them. Just by taking out the bobby pins and letting the hair fall down naturally, we can kind of gauge to see how the curl formed overnight. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my hair was a little too wet to do this without it being completely air dry. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use a hairdryer to just kind of spot treat those waves. I'm not going to go ahead and destroy it. I'm still going to keep twirling the curl away from it and that way it's going to still have that hold and shape. Now I'm using just a really low heat setting because I didn't want this to be a heated tutorial but just going through and finding whatever sections are still a little damp and curling the hair with it as you're blow drying it will help. So now that we have the hair pretty much air dried, it's now time to shake out the waves. And I like to just kind of go lightly in with this because you don't want to destroy it. And because I didn't fully blow dry the hair, part of it is still a little wet, so I don't want it to get frizzy and tacky with it. So just by loosely finger shaking the waves out, playing with it, piecing it where you want it to go, that will help kind of just create that more messy tousled look. I'm just going to go ahead and use a sea salt spray. This isn't mandatory, but it does give those waves a little bit of an extra grit to them. So they do look a little bit more beachy and more air dried. I'm just going to go ahead and spritz it through the ends and then go ahead and scrunch it up. So that way it gives, again, those waves a little bit more grit. So there you guys have it. That's how you recreate this look. Super easy, huge staple to have in the summer collection. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos and get notified when I post new ones and follow me on social media. Okay, thanks. Love you guys. Bye.